practice field down one player after Sunday's preseason game against the Rams. Prior to practice today, head coach Mike McCarthy said left tackle Chuma Idoga was dealing with a significant toe injury. And since then, multiple reports have confirmed that Idoga will start the season on injured reserve. And meanwhile, some good news, though, on defense. Micah Parsons, he is 100 percent healthy and ready to go. Micah, who's also called the Lion, sometimes the Wizard, depending on what coach you ask, continues to be disruptive throughout camp. As his speed is now being utilized more in Mike Zimmer's defense, Micah is going back into his 2021 hybrid role, and he says the adjustments are only going to take his game to the next level. I mean, I always think you get better, man. I don't think you – I think the moment that you stop getting better, you're failing at life, you know. I think you always want to try to get better next year and the year after that. And just, you know, I always find ways to get better. And I don't think you can never stop getting better. I think that's the process – when you love the process and you love the game. So it's always going to keep getting better. I don't think I'll ever be at a point um, where I don't want to get better. And I think at that point, I'll walk away, you know. When the process stops being fun, I'll walk away. Micah isn't the only player looking to step up his game a notch. Third-year tight end Jake Ferguson says he's ready to be that guy for the offense. I got a chance to take a seat with Jake Ferguson, and he talks about the upcoming season and says he doesn't want to just be the number one tight end for Dallas. He wants to be the number one tight end in the league. How good can he be? Hey, who knows? But, uh, you know, I think the next level is just consistently playing the way that you played last year, but even better, you know, so that it's not just, say, you had a one-year, one-hit wonder. What was able for you to be able to take on that new role and to be find success? Coach Wells was like, okay, you have an opportunity here to be the guy and um, to step into that role. And, you know, he said, all you got to do is take the bull by the horns. And, I really took that to heart and, you know, just training in the offseason, really trying to understand our scheme, being my second year in it, kind of, you know, having a little bit of my, having a little more of my feet under myself, but, you know, having so much more to learn and, um, you know, just going out there and playing and getting reps with four and um, maybe if we're off on something, getting with him together after practice or even off the field and saying, hey, this is what I'm thinking, what are you thinking, and just trying to get on the same page, create that chemistry. What are those steps you got to experience the first Pro Bowl games? Mm -hmm. uh, how was that like going out there, being getting that recognition? For sure, yeah, it was it was really cool. Um, great experience. I actually ended up taking Coach coach out there with me. Um, but it was, it was awesome meeting those guys, meeting some of those great dudes, and um, even some of the NFL legends that were out there meeting them. I was kind of starstruck. And, um, it was a great experience, but at the end of the day, you know, that's not the ball I'm trying to get to. If a guy tells me he'll run through the wall for me, first off, I'm going to tell you, hey, don't do that, champ, you know, hey, because then you won't be playing. <laughs> but but I get the dynamic in terms of that just shows a great appreciation um, by him um, and trusting, you know, um, you to help him, you know, accomplish the goal that he wants to accomplish. I'm bought in, you know. Um, I think that starts from something, you know, growing up, being around my dad, being around my grandpa. Um, you start to see those successful teams when you see – the players buying into what the coach has to say and buying into the scheme, buying into, you know, the motto or, you know, that, that goal. I know football, like you said, dad, grandpa, you got football in your veins here. Uh, do they ever peek in, give some advice of where you could get better in the game? Or are they, are they quiet uh, spectators? They've gotten a little quieter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I still get I still get pointers and stuff all the time. My grandpa still gives me a lot of good good uh it's not always you know like technique or stuff like that it's sometimes mental it's sometimes you know um how to persevere in situations like like what we go through out here and um you know i, I i'm i can't be more grateful can't be more blessed to have the people in my corner um and even my even my mom helps me with football stuff too she's been around football her whole life so she knows a little bit so uh, everybody in my family really helps me my brother even he played for a long time so our group chat's pretty live with all the uh, football talk.